Hey guys, welcome back. This is Brian from the BTN HD, and today is all about upgrading your Windows 10 version 1909 with SCCM in Point Manager. So let's get started. So, first things first, we need to import our operating system image uh, inside our SCCM. I have a network shared, and inside that network shared is core sources, OSD, OS, OS images, and I have a Windows 10 x64 folder. Now, if you guys have been following my SCCM, you guys kind of understand how I got this uh, folder system going on. Within that Windows 10 x64 folder, I created a folder called V1909, right? And inside that folder, I don't have anything in it. So what I need to do within my virtual environment, because I'm doing everything within a virtual environment, is I mounted my 1909 ISO. And I basically copied all the files and just moved it over inside that network share folder. And once everything is completed, you should be good to go. So this path right here is very important. And I have everything inside the ISO moved over over here. Let's go back inside our SCCM console. And within operating system images node, we need to right click on it, right? So right click on this guy right here, go to add operating system image. You're gonna get the wizard. Once the wizard loads up, we need to give it the UNC path of that WIM image. So that would be the USC path of where we drop the sources of that ISO content into. We need to copy that path and we are going to click on browse and we are going to paste it right there, right? That's the path. Click on open and there you go. Now this ISO is the eval version of the LTSC, which only has one index. If your ISO has multiple index, just make sure you pick it right here. It mine's grayed out because I don't have, um, you know, multiple indexes on that WIM image. Next thing that we need to do is pick either it is a 86 or 64. I pick 64 and then we're going to click on the drop down menu to pick our language. I pick English and then you're going to click on next. Change the name. I change it to the following. It's really up to you. It depends on your environment, but this is what I gave within my environment and then click next. Next again, once it's done, you're going to get a nice little summary. Green check marks is always a good thing and click on close. And then we are going to have our operating system image, which is right here. Awesome. So you are going to select your image, right click on it, and you are going to pick distribute content. You're going to get the distribute content wizard. Click next here, click on add, pick DP and uh, pick your DP. Now I have two within my environment, so just pick one of them or two or three, it really depends on you. I pick mine and then I'm going to click on next, next, and then you're gonna get the green check mark, which is good. And then you can click on close. Once you finish doing that on your lower right hand side at the content section, pay attention to this. It should say all zero. Uh, if you want, you can go all the way to the top to the tab and just click on refresh. Eventually, you're going to see that it's going to say success one. If it has failed one, make sure you click on content status and look at your logs and make sure, you know, fix that problem. But uh, always don't go anywhere until you see this guy change to success. Green one. Good to go. Now click on your operating system upgrade package. You're going to right click on it and then going to pick add operating system upgrade package. You're going to get the upgrade package wizard and we need to provide a UNC path of where our uh, ISO content is at, right? So again, we're going to go to this path and we're going to give it the root, right? The root has that setup.exe file. Okay, so we're going to copy that path and we're going to paste it there. Pick your flavor. I pick 64 bit hit the drop down menu, pick the language that you want, and then click on next. Uh, change this really depends on your environment. For me, I give it the following and then I clicked on next. Nice little summary. Next again, green check marks, good to go. And then just click on close. From here, we're gonna select our uh, system upgrade package, which is this guy right here, the one that we just created. We're gonna right click on it. And then we are going to pick distribute content. We're going to get the wizard again, click on next. Click on add, pick a DP, pick your DP. I pick only one. This is the one that I want to distribute that content into. Click OK, click next, nice little summary, next, and then done. Really fast. And then click on close. Like I said before, on the lower right hand side where the content status is at, just make sure it's green. If it's not green, you could go up to the top right here in your tab and just constantly click on the refresh until it says success. 
If, uh, if it says failed, click on the content status right there. Check your logs, fix it before you can continue. Now it's time for us to create our task sequence. So go inside your task sequence node. You're gonna right click on this guy right here, right click on it. Go click on create a task sequence and you're going to get your wizard. So the option that we want is upgrade an operating system right here, third one, click on next. Provide a task sequence and name, right? And a description, it's up to you. Uh, I gave it the following, right? We're upgrading to Windows 10 V 1909, kind of makes sense. Click next there, uh, click on browse, and you're going to pick your operating system or your package, right? your upgrade package, which for us was Windows 10 V 1909, click OK. And again, make sure you pick the correct index and you are also able to provide the product key. Click next there. Once you pick your option, just click on next. If you have any additional applications that you need to push out during the process of the upgrade, pick it here. Uh, nice little summary, done, right? All green check marks. And then you are able to click on close. So once you do that, uh, you're going to see your new task sequence. You're going to select your task sequence, right? Select it. You're going to right click on it. And then we need to hit deploy. You're going to get the deploy software wizard. And we need to pick our collection. So click on browse. You're going to get a nice little warning. Just click OK. And pick your collection. I did all workstations. So next here, you have uh, two options here. You have available and required. Available will advertise the task sequence and allow the users to click on it and then install it. And then you have required, which will, um, I think, force the installation to the machines. So I picked available for my environment and click next. You are able to schedule it. Click next here. User experience, I left everything as the default. Click next, alerts, uh, I left the default, uh, DP, I left the default on this, click next. Nice little summary of everything that you have done within the deploy software wizard. Then you click next here, all green check marks, which is always a good thing, and then you're able to just close it. Now, go inside one of the machines that has the SCCM client installed. If you open up the software center and if you click on the operating system, you're going to see that your task sequence is not there, right? where is it there's a good chance that the policy did not hit the machine and sometimes when you open up the software center you're going to see like a little like a one or a two uh, indication stating that something new has popped up or showed up within the software center so if you want to kind of like give it a little push you are able to go inside the control panel and then locate your configuration manager open it up and then within there click on actions for the tab right and then locate machine policy and just click on run. When you click on run, it's going to give you this. Just click OK. Give it some time. Right? Walk away. When you come back, open up your software center. And you're going to see, look, that little indication. That basically says something's new there. And when you click on operating system, you're going to see your new task sequence. Awesome. Upgrade to Windows 10 V 1909. And then when you click on it, you're able to install. Now, I feel like... Microsoft should change this because for me, when I see install, install is like a reformat and it installs the operating system. It'd have been nice if this was worded to upgrade, right? Change that wording to upgrade because that's what you're doing, an upgrade. You're not really doing an install, are you? Hmm, weird. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. Also, subscribe and share out the video. And I catch you guys on the next one.